Morning all. Right, let's get the pew ready. Right, my name's Ron, this is Ron's 12 inches. Uh, if you're wondering what it's all about, let's turn that off. It's all about your music. Uh, I'm going to be talking about your CDs, your vinyl, uh, your download, your iPods. I'm going to put an iPod tutorial out soon, very soon. It's going to be, you need an iPod classic or an I, I, iPhone. I'm going to show you where to go on a site, uh, another site to back your stuff up with. So you can get it all on your iTunes, all on your um, classic for next to nothing. You're going to be paying about seven, eight pence a track. And so rather than going on Apple and paying 99 pence, but stay tuned and watch that one. Right, what have I been spinning uh, lately? Right, I've got a little... Um, Little song here, little seven inch. There's your seven inch, right? Get out nice and close, personal. Right, there's your seven inch. Uh, there's your protective little sleeve. I won't take that out. This is a little band. They come out in the uh, late eight, night, uh, early eighties, I think, or late seventies. Um, they were a little bit like craft work. There was a bit of, like ele electronic, and they're called Data, um, D A T A, and they got a song called Fallout. If you ever you want to get listen to a bit of good music, like from like way in front of their time. They're a bit like Kraftwerk, but I think this song's but they didn't have much out after that. Gotta say the album was a bit pony, I heard it the other day and it weren't weren't too clever really, but that's a brilliant song. Uh that's this first video I've done for ages for about a week. So what have I been playing? Like I've been playing a bit of Harry Styles, what cut of these albums there. Uh, that's a sucker punch album um, from uh, You and Me at Six. Uh, there's your CDs. I've been uh, what have I bought? I bought the best of the eighties. Um, you and me at six. Sinners, uh, Sin Sinners never sleep. That's a fantastic album. That uh, a bit of compilation there. Look, top of the pops, new wave. So that's all your um, your CDs. Uh, right, there's your twelve. What oh, I bought a twelve inch today. First first twelve inch I bought for a while. There it is. Look, bit of Boomtown Rats dragged me down. It's a twelve inch. Uh, it's got this special edition. It's only cost me two quid on eBay. But how sad. Right, the album and the band I'm going to talk about today is a band called The Stranglers, formed in 1974 in Guildford, although none of them come from Guildford, although Brunel, uh, Brunel uh, moved in uh, Godalming, which is in uh, Guildford um, at a later stage. But So who are The Stranglers? Well, The Stranglers are Jet Black on the drums, uh, Hugh Cornwell vocals and guitar, um, Dave Greenfield, um, keyboard and, uh, yeah, basically keyboards, and what a keyboard player, I'm telling you what, what a keyboard player, one of the best keyboard players you'll ever listen to. Plays more on the Hammond organ, or like electric organ, more than not a kick like a normal um, a standard piano. Um, and then you've obviously got uh, John Jacks Burnell, he does uh, guitar. Um, they did have another guy on uh, drums before they put Jet Black on it. Um, and I can't remember his name, but they got rid of him after a year. He didn't. He, he weren't on any of the albums, so uh, he didn't really feature. <clears throat> right, the album I'm going to talk about is the first album, which is this. Let's have a look. There's your protective sleeve. Don't forget your protective sleeve. First album. That's the that's the sleeve. First album. I've just taken it out because I've just just been playing it a little while ago. Uh, and there's there's the album. It's in its protective sleeve. So let's whack that back in there like that. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realise. Just inside that little album there, and that little sleeve is. Uh, but this is not uh, an English version. I've got oh, that's the original. Yeah, I've got um, it's like a Latvian, uh, some foreign uh, release I've got. Um, I've got the uh, the original somewhere. But I, you know what? My albums are all over the place, and they're never. Uh, I should look after them a bit better, like for categorising. But I keep that. You know, I mean, they slip somewhere. I've also got um, they released uh, an album out a couple of years ago. I think it's about four years ago. Called. Uh, there it is, uh, The Stranglers, Rattus uh, Relived. Uh, so it's Rattus, uh, the album is Rattus No Vegicus, um, which is basically um, a scientific name for the common brown rat. Um, so that's the Relived version, that's in an all orange thingy bomb. And actually that goes for about 165, 170 on eBay. I was quite surprised, I looked it up the other night, I was really surprised. Um, right, so they emerged like, via the punk scene late, uh, not, no, it's, they formed in 74, but they sort of like, they become sort of like a big, punk band, although they wasn't really um, musician-wise. Corn Cornwall was um, a blues musician. Uh, Burnell was, um, John Jess Burnell was uh, a classical guitarist and Jet Black played jazz drumming. But when you when you start playing jazz, I play drums, and when you play jazz, you always learn a bit of jazz drumming anyway, because it's all that, and it's all on the, on the ride, you know, like, you know what I mean? So you need that to keep, your, to keep the beat going along in most of these riddles. The only thing is with obviously a punk band, you tend to find the drummers quite 
on lots of punk bands they're quite heavy punk, punk drumming becomes quite heavy uh, on this particular album I don't think it does I think this album is all about Dave Greenfield seriously on the organ I think this guy is just second to none seriously he's way up every song you listen to most out of the album um, let's have a quick peek on the album so they've got five tracks on the first first side and four tracks on the finger bob but out of nine tracks I reckon he's he's more um, prominent in seven of them you know what I mean he's just basically revolving around him uh, Right, so they formed in Guildford. They had 23 top 40 singles, um, and they're still going now. And they're still they've got 17 top 40 albums. Uh, they emerged via the punk scene. Um, like uh, the other thing is Greenfield done was his best thing. Bob he done the music to um, Golden Brown, which is obviously one of their better, well, most well known known songs. I think out of the punk thingy, but when they first started, it was punk. They did, did generally like go across to the pop side with um, Always the Sun and Golden Brown and things like that in the later stages of the 80s but now they've gone back the other way like if you listen to the recent album Giants and things like that they've gone back to their old roots I think um, and I think with with this band they, they, they just all works you know what I mean you've got the melodic um, bass of JJ Bunnell um, you've also got the rough the gruff voices of uh, Cornwall on the on the on the um, on the on the vocals with uh, Brunel, uh, they, they, uh, Brunel, they're all the singers, uh, both the singers. Um, they come along, you know. What I mean, everyone associates them with things like the Ramones from America. I can't stand the Ramones. I think they're. I, I don't like that group. Seriously, I'm not into that group at all. And everyone says, "I oh, want an iconic punk band." Not for me. No, I, 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 that, I get a thumbs down. I'm not interested in the Ramones. I try to listen to them. And I'm probably going to get people jumping out of their chairs and saying, what the hell is this geezer talking about? I don't know what he's talking about, but that's for me, you know what I mean? It's only my personal take. I've always said on these videos, only my personal take, and I don't like the Ramones, they're just not, not for me. So they banged out three, three albums in 1977 to 78. Uh, this one here, the first one, then uh, No More Heroes and Black and White, and that was all like major big hits. This was a massive, massive um, punk uh, album in the 77. It was one of the best... I think it's got top 10 and loads of thingy bobs, it was just different class. Uh, loads of people ra raved about it, like Enemy and Rolling Stone and all that. And this now is just an iconic piece of music, seriously. If you want to go and listen to a good album, and it ain't it ain't all about, like when people say about the punk scene, they, straight away everyone goes to Sex Pistols, oh, Joe Lydon and, and Sid Vicious, they couldn't sing. Well, they, I don't think Joe Lydon can sing, but I don't think he... He, he, I don't think he knows it. You know what I mean? He knows he can't sing. He don't. He don't profess to say, "Oh yeah, of course I can sing." He don't. He ain't like um, Frank Sinatra and bloody things like that. He, it's, that's just what the punk thing was all about. It's all about just putting your own voice out there and don't matter how it sounds. And it was all about the music. Um, I like things like he's done. I like the Sex Pistols. I like Peel and things like that. To me, I think they're they're pretty decent. I think it's pretty decent. You know what I mean? It's just that what I was brought up in. Really, I was 16, 17 when the punk scene come around. So it was right up my street, and I got into it. Some people, you will look nowadays, and there's a lot of R and B going about, and there's a lot of um, rap and things like that, and pop and smoke, and you know what I mean, all this K-pop and all that. And people will look back and go, that's junk music. But me personally, I think the music out today is junk. There's some of it's not bad. You know what I mean? I'm buying. Things like One Direction, I couldn't stand it when I was on X Factor. But I think Harry Styles has got a style of his own. I, I really like him. Anyway, I'm just jumping off the thingy bob. Right, so this album spawned two singles, Peaches, which has obviously got the, um, the, the, the the line in it. Uh, is she trying to get out of that clitoris? And like when you listen to it, first of all, you're wondering what he's actually saying. But he obviously got banned on, on a lot of radio stations. And obviously, if everyone knows what a clitoris is, you know what I mean? It's something to do with um, a lady's uh, private parts, if you don't know what that is. Um, so that got banned. And it, 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 you know what I mean? It, it was a word in there, like, what a bummer. And they changed it to summer. They, they, changed, they changed a lot of the lyrics to, to go on a lot of the things to get that out. Um, right, uh, what was the other song that came out there? Grip, Get a Grip. Now, that's a fantastic song. That, that didn't even break into the top 40. It was unbelievable. Um, that, <coughs> that album got number four which I'm absolutely amazed because that should have got I'm going to hold that in my hand because I'm going to just go through a few of the thingy bobs I was going to pick about three or four um, tracks off of this and, and, and I like them as I thought they was um, one to like three but I'm going to take two songs off it I'm going to say Goodbye to Lose and Ugly right I'm going to say they're a nine eight and a half nine then and then I'm going to say the rest of this album is a ten 
seriously, that's how that's how highly I think of this album. Sometimes he's just like it's just brilliant, you know what I mean? Just a quality piece of music. So it goes sometimes on, on track one, Goodbye to Lose, London Lady, London Lady, oh my god, he's just a, a rolling, he's just fast paced, you know what I mean? It's really fast paced. But with this band, at least you can understand the lyric, like when they're singing, you can understand what they're singing, you know what I mean? You get to some of these punk bands and they're rattling on and screaming and you can, and it's all like one word goes into another before it's finished and it and you can't understand what they're singing. You've got to try and work out the lyrics. So I've done it years ago. When you don't have the lyrics see, sheet, years ago you didn't have the web. So you're just guessing what, what they, um, thingy bob, what they're singing. And then when the, when they actually find out, well, some of them didn't give you the lyric sheet, then when you actually find out what the actual song was, the lyrics were, that were singing, you can't get it out of your head of what you actually thought they were singing before. So every time something comes up, you keep singing what you've, you've always thought it was, and you can't get the, the, the proper lyrics into your head anyway. Right, so... Then it goes Prince of, the, Prince of the Street, which I think is another good song. Um, that's, uh, you know what I mean, it's not, um, Greenfield's a lot in, involved in that. And then Hanging Around comes round, and now that, oh my God, that just st starts off, then, then, you know what I mean, it starts off with um, Jet Black on just a little hi-hat, it's just tsh, tsh, and Greenfield on the, on the keyboard. Oh my God, that, the opening to that, the opening, rip, like, sequence to that song the first 30 40 seconds on it is just seconds to none seriously it's way up there it's it's, uh, it's just fantastic i love that song and that wasn't a single is beyond me because i think that would have done better than uh, get a grip but they released um peaches with go buddy go which is not it's on the extended uh, when they did the cd they put the um go buddy go on that i think it's just a standalone C, uh, single i don't think it's on one of any of the albums i've got the no more heroes album here um but I've only got the inner sleeve, I haven't got the outer sleeve. I think what happened was, I did have these, and uh, for some reason, oh, I don't know, I can't, I can't find them. Perhaps I've got rid of them, I ain't got a clue, but that's the inner, inner sleeve with a record inside there. Right, we flick over to um, side two. So obviously it starts off with the major single that came off the album, which was Peaches. That got number eight in the, in the charts, which was a major, uh, like, find for the punk. It, it blew the, like, got the punk, like, into the, um, into the, the 77 got them into the charts and everyone followed like the Boomtown Rats and um, who else like Sex Pistols, you know what I mean, Ramones, they all come in and they was all jumping in the charts of 77, 78 and that's when punk really took off. Then you've got Get A Grip, which is another fantastic song, you know what I mean, it's, um, you got a guy on there, he plays a saxophone, he's a Welsh coal mine, Eric Clark, uh, and he's credited with, on, with it on the album, which is really unbelievable, you know what I mean, so he, he gets a little mention there. Uh, then we go down to Ugly, which I said like you can take that one off. But then you go down to Down in the Sewer. Now I think Down in the Sewer is the best song on the album. It's about seven, eight minutes long and it's broken up into four sections. But what's a song? But seriously, this just goes, this is just absolutely different class. And I'm telling you, I'm punching now because I, I, I think this is just, I'm just listening to this and oh my God. So all the back end of this, Greenfield on his on the Hammond on the on the organ and like the, the little bit of guitar in and all that, this just works. It's like it's just fantastic, man. I'm telling you, you got to go and get this album. Seriously, you have got to listen to this album. Whatever you're doing tomorrow for the weekend, get this, download it, put it on your iPod, put it on your on your, your spin it on your turntable, put it on your CD player. Whatever you do, go and never listen to this because this is just. I'm gonna give this a nine point. A nine. I have to give it a nine because I've given two songs a nine. So I have to give it a nine. I can't give it a ten. But that's as close as a ten as I'll ever give a record. Seriously, that is probably one of the best debut albums you'll ever listen to. Um, and I can't really say a lot more about it. You know what I mean? It's uh, obviously I can pick in a few more. Like, like London Lady's got um, a very fast pace. It's got drum fills on it and things like that. That's just my alarm going off. Just let me know. I've only got about two or three minutes left before the video runs out. You've got Hanging Around, which is, um, there's a lot lot that happens on the i -X. Keyboard kicks in and the song just gets better and better as it goes goes around. But I just think the old album, really. You know what I mean? I've picked two songs up there, I would say, like, but I, I can't skip that album. I, that is what you call a stonger, ladies and gentlemen. Um, going to this weekend, and the weather's picked up, you know what I mean? The old Frost has gone, Jack Frost has gone, uh, Billy the Snowman has disappeared, and we've now got a, well, we had a little bit of rain, but that's all going to go. Apparently, in the next two weeks, it's supposed to be lovely jubbly. Um, 
uh, the weather's supposed to pick up. May even, may even be time to uh, open up a, a can of lager. It was my birthday two days ago on the 17th, and I still didn't. Have, I still haven't had a drink since the New Year. I'm trying to abstain, trying to lose a bit off the old uh, middle before I attack it again. Um, in the late, later stage of the year, I'm trying to get back to work if I can. I'm, I'm like an ex cab driver, but I don't think it's looking too good for the next three or four months. So I'll be knocking out a few of these videos. Uh, but like I say, the next one will be all about your iPod and downloading. So you basically need your iPod, you need your iTunes, uh, and I'll put you on the, a site that you get your music from and a site that you back your iTunes up on. Um, yeah, so that's basically it, really. That's my take on that album. Uh, I think the, the band. I don't think they got better than that. I think that is the pinnacle of, of the Stranglers, you know what I mean? I think they had the odd song, you know what I mean? Uh, Always the Sun, I think it's just a fantastic song. Um, they've got but Go Buddy Go, like I say, they've got other things off of um, other albums. I've got the, there's the, the Greatest Hits here, look. I've bought the Greatest Hits, Peaches. Um, so you've got Walk On By, that was a cover of Dion Warwick. Skin Deep, and uh, All Day and All of the Night Straight now, you're nice and sleazy, they, they, you know what I mean, it's, it's an iconic punk band, but that first album was just absolutely different gravy with me, I uh, can't get enough of it, I'll be playing that again, as soon as I flick this uh, camera up, that'll be going straight on, I know it's 10 to 2, 5 to 2 in the morning, I'll keep it nice and low, Mrs. in bed, right, like I say, so things are picking up out there, like, like the pandemic's on the wane, um, so that's, that's handy, so what I'd say is, go and get yourself a glass of lager boys, or a nice whatever you're drinking, um, nice bit of spirit or Guinness or something, pour yourself a couple of them tomorrow night and play that nice and loud on your turntable or on your bits and pieces, whatever. Uh, ladies, get yourself whatever you can drink. Um, uh, and yeah, and things are, are looking up, you know what I mean? The weather's coming round, all things are changing, like we've got the winter, most of the winter out of the way, so um, it looks like it's going to be on the up from here, here on in. Right, my name's been, uh, Ron, this has been Ron's 12 Inches, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, it's only my personal take on music. I've loved music. I've been collecting it for 45 years. I've got loads of bits, 3,000 and, I mean, 6,000 bits and pieces, like of CDs and vinyl laying around the house. Um, so it's just my personal style. You know, I mean, music to me is the best thing that's ever been invented. And uh, I'll just say until...